going through the stream. Uh, I think we're more or less good. I think the microphone can go a bit closer. Yeah, perfect. Welcome to the stream. Hey, Karma, welcome. Thank you very much for joining. So, yeah, how are you? We are today drawing, and you have probably seen that already. We are drawing vision, which means Paul Bettany. Good morning. It's morning where you are. I thought I thought it was pretty late for you. Actually. So yeah, we have. It's morning. I have the. Okay, so I think you heard. Ah, sound in general is I think a bit bit this way. So better. Okay, so I think, as always, I need the last touches. Uh, to do the last touches while I'm already online. Uh, yeah, so uh, let me do an introduction. I always fail to do that because I never, uh, or I always remember too late that there are people that are watching that afterwards and that might be you. So, <laughs> um, yeah, welcome to the Sketching Greyhound. We are, I am here on this channel drawing um, mostly mostly superheroes but also for example content creators and i will probably expand soon because i have uh, drawn a boatload of superheroes and superheroes are becoming more and more scarce and i have to watch for more and more or it takes longer for me more and more longer to find somebody to draw so um we will be drawing today a vision I have drawn him already. I, I painted him in that case, actually, uh, in watercolor. First time I am drawing him in pencil. So let's see how that will turn out, won't we? I am, before the live stream, I'm preparing a general sketch of the picture uh, because always doing the same things are, is not very exciting for the viewer measurings and stuff there are a boatload of videos of mine that you can see where i had done that in the past i have now prepared uh, the picture in advance and we will jump in with more exciting stuff you know like eyes and ears and hair that i never really like to draw so let me see. Okay, I think we are prepared. Where's my streaming software? There. Also, Acho, welcome. Thank you very much for joining today. How are you? Adjust my introduction and we will change now to the drawing st screen and start drawing. So, I don't have coffee, actually. Oh, come on. I don't have any coffee today. So, because it is evening for me. And too much coffee in the evening is not that uh, healthy, is it? But we will start now. Okay, so, uh, uh, I let, don't let me forget again to I'm recording for the... Oh, I forgot to mention that in my introduction. I am always creating time videos out of the live streams. So there are short versions if you have missed a live stream and you do not want to sit through the complete live stream, uh, which is normally about two hours, then you will have a time version where you can see also the preparation I've done before and also some uh, touch-ups that I normally also am doing afterwards uh, after the live stream or it is a timeline version 
welcome Liana. Thank you very much for joining today. And then, yeah, um, I create a editor, and you see that on for for this particular powder event, the complete version on Monday. shorter yeah and for that i am always creating uh, i'm always recording separately the video so all the stuff i can put on here and i can see the fancy little slideshow for people that are new so they can see what i am actually doing um so that is not present in the video for time's because that is not the best thing to have in the timelapse. <sighs> Where will we start? The same question as always. I start by making my reference picture on my PC bigger. Uh, the, the issue we already uh, again have with this one is uh, quality of the source material. I have directly taken it from the video which is these days with such a big um, portrait not that bad but it is from Wonder Vision and of course they have for authenticity reasons they have not the best video quality they have some filter that makes it look like it would actually be uh, one of those cameras that we were using back in the day. 50s? Something like that. 40s? So it is blurry. It loses a lot of quality. So uh, how are you today? First things I will be doing is verifying and putting a little bit of detail into stuff like um, the eyes and shadows around the eyes, but not for the really around those shadows, but giving it a little bit more detail than the very first sketch has, so to make sure. are correct because I have to not make any mistakes with that I have done the very first um, drawing and measured everything nicely but still that doesn't mean that I am infallible and also I've, uh, I have measured a li line like this and then I'm I confuse in which direction I have to shade and then it becomes smaller than it was intended and on the other side I do it differently so it becomes a bit bigger and then you have issues.
welcome. <laughs> Thank you very much for the like. I very much appreciate that. So, yeah, um, I'm just starting, so you haven't missed anything. Uh, but I already have quite a little bit of an issue with the... So you cannot expect that both eyes are the same size, even with fairly frontal picture a little bit to the left. So you just have to be careful that you always measure the same stuff. So size wise, the the wide, the width, that's the word. <laughs> Not the width is correct. Uh, let's see. The I think I can do that one because it's really small, correct, more correct width. You see, this one is bigger. It should be the same size. So actually, I have to correct this a lot. It's a good thing that I measured. out and I'm quiet let me check why headphone microphone the microphone seems to be you're right the microphone ha seems to be the configuration seems to have changed one second Something has changed. So, better? Let me check. It reaches the yellow area when I'm talking loud, so it should be better now. The music is... should be fine now. Okay, so let me know if this is better and thank you very much for telling me. So, the weekend I finished seeing the Scarlet Witch and Vision. What a shame it gave me to finish it. <laughs> yes, it is a big, it is an emotional ending. So, I also decided to uh, draw Vision again because I drew her again. I have drawn her now twice. And I have already drawn vision, uh, but not in pencil. So I drew him in, uh, in in color, actually, in watercolor, because he's a colorful character. But uh, out of his mask, I have not drawn him, and Wonder Vision gives us black and white materials. So why not? I was actually thinking about drawing him in his white form 
That would have also been interesting with the grey paper, perhaps in the future. Okay, so now we have, I think, the eyes, size and everything. And we can continue. So an interesting thing with vision with Paul Bettany is his nose. He has a quite sharp nose, sharp tip. And we need to get that correctly. Actually, the white of the eyes on the left side at least is not very white because it is in the shadows. So we need to darken it a little bit. And uh, the iris has to be a bit darker, of course. Thing is, uh, we were just. I was just thinking about the, um, the the light reflection in the eyes. They actually are a lot darker in the left eye than they are in the right eye. From us, left eye. So just using a gel pen to draw in the highlights is not correct. But for us today, correct enough. So the darkest part of the eye, the iris, we draw directly with the with our beloved dark stone pencil. So we have from the get-go good um, contrast. Now let me sharpen this real quick. So, oh, I'm always a bit uh, careful with sharpening because I hate when pencils break. issues with the in the beginning we had issues with loudness so let me just repeat the process we are here you are here watching uh, the live stream perhaps live perhaps afterwards and we came in prepared with the general shape of the face because it's not always that exciting to watch me draw that again and again and again if that is exactly what you like to see I'm very sorry you can let me know that in the future I will again include it perhaps for one or two or more uh, portraits but you can also find a lot of live streams where you see that. Just take a look at some of the older ones. 
and then you can see there how I do it. Uh, then we start with the live stream, and in the live stream I am drawing. <laughs> no worry, Liana. But you could have told me that the microphone is very quiet. Um, and then I draw this in the live stream, like this right now. Uh, a live stream normally takes around two hours, something like that. And then we have an almost completed picture, depending always on the amount of detail in said picture. And that means that I normally always, I, there are always a certain amount of touch-ups I have to do after I finish a picture in a live stream. Because you just see a picture differently after a day or two and then you think, okay, there are things I have to add, I have to change, I even forgot sometimes stuff I have to add in. And that's what I do then. And then you will get a complete version in a time-lapse video that I release on for the Wednesday stream on the Monday. So if you are interested in just getting the gist of it, or if you have been here during the live stream and just want to see Mary, welcome, hi, how are you? Just want to see how it all ended. Then you can always find the time-lapse version. It's interesting, again, we start today how we do, how we haven't done for quite some while actually, but uh, we are starting now with a picture where I think, oh my God, this is terrible and I will never be able to fix it. So uh, let's see if we manage to fix it. How are you, Mary? I'm good, you you asked first, okay. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm good, I am, I started, I did not start late, so that's good. Uh, I did not manage to eat my full dinner though, but it will be waiting for me after the stream. And yeah, so I am good. I hope you are too. How are you? So it's almost a tradition that I'm not happy with uh, how the picture starts out. The last one's not, but I wasn't that happy with the end result. So this could again mean something good for this picture. We will see. So I already corrected some size issues. So it's it's not the um, the proportions that is bugging me it's something else I can't really put it into words especially since we are pretty much in the beginning Not much has happened so not that much reason to be unhappy but I'm already unhappy We see. 
Thank you very much, Kama. I don't agree. I hope you forgive me. So give me a second. It gets quite warm here. I will just step aside. Come back with a t-shirt. Doesn't really warrant to switch to break screen, so. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I have already, I, I've measured and measured and you are probably not wrong. But it's not that much that I think the proportions are my issue doesn't mean that they are right. Better, I think. Um, I don't know. It just sometimes you have with the with the other ones. There were very characteristic ones that I did. Magneto or uh, Professor X. The pre-drawing already looked a lot like them uh, with this one it does not and i think that is just tr throwing me a little bit off ikra welcome to the stream thank you very much for joining how are you today so So, we have this pretty, so one thing I like, you don't have it in all the, in every portrait, um, but I like when it's there, this, <laughs> I think one of the first streams I had one of those and, and you these eye shelves I have no idea they probably don't have a normal name and if they do I don't know it so this the streak that is a little bit lighter I, I don't think you see it in the small version of the reference picture um, but but it is there it's it's um, how can I describe it it's like the shelf beneath the eye <laughs> where the flap of skin um, and and if that is visible in the original, I love to draw them because they are a bit strange, but they always bring a certain intriguing level of realism into your picture when you draw them. I don't know, I, I cannot really explain it, but if you draw them, if they are there and you draw them, they automatically somehow make it bit more realistic probably doesn't make that much sense what I'm saying there but perhaps I, I don't know perhaps you you've experienced that too perhaps not perhaps I'm just strange but that is okay Okay, so just thinking if I should I should probably switch back to the other pencil and not directly go with this one. <sighs> on this side, on the other side it doesn't make sense to go with with this quite hard pencil. Iris is smaller than it should be, I think so, I think you're right. Is also not 100% round. Mm. 
Good thing you are here today, Mary. Or it would have been ruined. So. But I think also we will already put in, because I think now it's, it's pretty solid. We'll draw in the light reflections in a second. discussed with myself earlier um, that on the light side uh, on the, the, the left side the light points are much darker actually than on the right side but we will ignore that probably we will see if it is an issue when we continue thank you very much Mary <laughs> uh, we will see if that is an issue later but I don't think so <sighs> so okay let us continue Danas, welcome! Hey, miss you coming in. Welcome! Thank you very much for joining, how are you? Thank you very much. Yeah, I had a couple of issues with proportion. But at least with the eye they are fixed now. Other stuff, there's not that much there yet that we can say if it is fixed in general but we will see uh, and I think like I just said it doesn't make too much sense to go in there with that pencil on the left side so let's continue with the darker one and bring this already to a much darker standard level because there's not much light on that side that's good to hear that is great to hear so we have I probably probably will actually bring in those there, there are little light areas here which are a bit lighter I will actually bring them back in with my trusted eraser Now give it all a bit of a general shading because it is very dark on that side of the face. You have to be a bit careful, of course, here where the nostrils come in because there we have a distinct shape that we have to consider but the other parts can be quite uniformly darker and as we have a natural eraser that helps us with removing bit of the darkness there where it needs to go so it's probably not even dark enough the overall level of darkness I 
introduced here. So let's see the eye. I think it's more important for now to get the contrast on the uh, the eye, I mean the nose. To get that right. So we have one nostril there. Very small. You probably cannot see it on the reference picture. And we have the other nostril here. And then we have, ah, we will do it, to be careful, we will do it first with this pencil because it is much easier to erase. So. Yeah, Paul Bettany's nose is very distinct. He has a very sharp nose, a pretty slender nose, with a lot of character. So we have to be careful to get that reproduced so that we get that level of recognizability that we are striving for. So nose is one of the most important factors in this portrait. So Blending sticks for pencils? No, I don't at all. There are some portraits where I actually have start, uh, been starting to use them. Uh, I, in general, am not blending without the pencil at all. Normally, I have started to, as I said. Uh, for example, I have been... Oh, which one have I been using it? Um, the first I ever did it for was with uh, with Joker. My Joker portrait is the first where I ever started to smudge stuff. And I have then very deliberately selected the Venom one to try it again and to experiment with it. Because a bit more of a fluid look is pretty perfect for him. I did it exactly. I did it very strongly a lot with Ultron. Uh, I almost used the this little friend here for blending and I almost use it really as a brush but it was also a lot of fun but the regular portraits I would say my original style is complete without stuff like that to blend I only am using pencil and eraser not even my fingers or something it's it does not come natural to me to blend um So it's difficult to say. 
I have fun blending. Uh, for example, the Ultron one. It was a lot of fun. But I think I prefer, still prefer to be able to do it without. So I see a lot of people very well using blending, for example, for, for skin um, and getting really realistic results. I probably will not go for this hyper realistic look for which you, I think, need to do that because you can hide the structure of the paper, you can hide the structure you bring in with your pencil. You always have a little bit of, of structure uh, of the single You know what I mean? Um, strokes. Like this, you see the direction of my strokes. You can hide that very well when you blend. But I actually like that look most of the time. And I prefer the control I have when I'm not blending it. Perhaps it's just um, that I have to, perhaps I need more training with it, just can very well, very well be. I will continue to try it out, but most of the time I will probably stick to not blend. Uh, I'm using it a little bit when I am drawing with the white pencil on, on gray because actually this white pastel one that I'm using, it begs for it. <laughs> uh, it's very, I don't manage to get a lot of different tones of white out of it without blending a little bit because it is very chalky, if that's the right, I don't know if I can say it like that. Um, it's very chalky. So it's very, very white even when you do not press a lot. So if I need not that intense of a white, I'm actually blending a little bit just to get the, the, the chalky dust that's on top of it away and it automatically gets a little bit darker. Yeah, so um, I will probably decide always on a case by case basis which style I will use. For this one, I decided to not uh, to not blend the pencil. And I also quite consciously decided for this paper. Uh, this paper actually also swallows a little bit of the details. But it has a little bit of a structure to it. Which I thought could work, work well with this portrait. We will see. So I am focusing too much on certain areas, I think. We should move on. Add a little bit of other stuff. Like the mouth to make sure that we have the overall general stuff. 
uh, correctly. Yeah, I think it works good with where I want to have this more artistic madness that I, I personally get by blending because um, I'm new to the blending game and it gets very messy which works very well which has worked very well for for joker for example um and which worked very well for venom but i will continue training with portraits like that and perhaps i will get to a level where i say and feel comfortable uh using it in general uh, because I, I talked in the video about this I think in I don't know which one but you see in my uh, Professor X portrait it is very you also see here the, the the coarseness the general coarseness you also can completely erase that by blending because um, the structure of the paper uh, just creates this little white flex and you can get rid of them when you blend which gives it a more realistic appearance so I might get to a new level of realism once I really am able to use blending in everything but I would not use it in everything because you also lose a certain level of um, style which for example worked quite well in the Professor X piece AA, welcome, and thank you very much for saying that. <laughs> My Ultron, yes, thank you very much. Uh, I actually referenced that uh, just now because we were talking about blending, and the Ultron one is one where I blended a lot. Uh, I was almost using this, this one. It's still lying here, I have to throw it away, but this one, uh, like a brush, Q-tip, I think, right? is the English word also. So... Yeah, it, it actually also made it quite fast. I could work quite fast. Uh, much faster than I would have if I would have drawn it regularly. I'm really not happy with this one though, yet. We are still working on it. We will get there, I hope. But for now, I'm really not happy with it. But if you look at my Ultron, that is also... It works very well for the Ultron. It, but it's also quite um, a very good indication of where my blending game for pencils is right now and it is not very good. Um, it works very well for Ultron, but it loses, or it does not have, it has, has a very stylized look to it. It is not very realistic, if you know what I mean. I'm not happy with this one though. I, 
I think sometimes I don't get, and now we will get courageous now. I will be doing something that I might re regret. I think I have to go a lot darker in the dark areas here. Uh, it looks quite flat. So I might regret this later. But thank you very much for saying that. Uh, -uh. A A A A. How do you want? I think AA works, right? So I think this already helps in terms of plasticity, three dimensionality, however you want to call it. Yeah, not necessarily with uh, recognizability, but uh, but with the depth. Continue with the shading here. These are areas, of course, that you normally would blend if you choose to blend. He also looks he looks more confused in the original than in, in my rendition. He looks a bit angry here. We will see if I get to fix that. So, nostril darker. So we get a bit more contrast and it does not get now lost when I darken this up. We don't have a lot of detail in this nose area on that side. So. Thank you very much, Mary. I appreciate it. So the shape of his nose ridge, is it called nose ridge? I have no idea. Makes sense in my head. Um, it is very important, but I'm not sure that I am getting that right right now. So we will continue to work on that and probably I would have to take a look at it again after the live stream also to get a more more precise so Oh, 
also the darkness of just used the blackstone my darkest pencil and that is practically unerasable so we cannot change it too much anyway so I might might have been smarter to measure before drawing that so definitely in Still not sure how to handle the mouth. things that work okay but still more things not really that nice fine also we are pretty late already one hour and we haven't been able to do a whole lot so let me try to hurry up getting lost in certain areas where I hope I can improve. Thank you, Karma. I don't think so, <laughs> but okay. Um, where I hope that I can improve recognizability and find what I don't like and correct it, but I think we need to get on with it and start to f have a general shading and then try to save that. Could even help to just get a couple of For example, the eyebrows also always help. So yeah, we have to, to hurry up a little bit. Uh, 
sacrifice a certain preciseness for just getting getting a first draft ready. And we will also get darker. I have to scroll a bit down because I have it quite big on my other screen. Doesn't help. What can you do? Hey Bob, welcome to the stream. Yeah, I'm taking ages. And it doesn't help. I'm really not happy with this one. That's kind of a tradition that I recently broke. But I did not like the last my last pictures that much in the end. So it might be a good sign that I am really not happy with this one right now. We will see. How are you, Bob? How are you? <sighs> so I have to get this right here. <laughs> Hope you're doing well this week. Might need to go to movie time, but we'll leave it running. Thank you very much for for that support. Yeah, I'm. We have to see. This one is not not cooperating so far. It's frustrating me a bit. Especially since I was now looking forward to this and thought, oh cool, Paul Bettany finally and now I am really not happy with it. Also, I will have to increase contrast here. This has to be much darker, but I will start or continue now with getting this base layer done. <laughs> You're doing good, glad Wednesday is over and I only work a four day a week, so technically it's my Friday tomorrow, that's nice, that's good. Does that mean a long work days in general? Or is it um, how is it called? Job where you have to be ready uh, and available during your off day sometimes. So it is kind of a uh, trade-off. I have it in a slump. I did really did not like my, at least after the next day, my Jesse from the first uh, Buffy club. And I wasn't that happy with uh, Magneto at all. So I'm a bit in a slump. I need to find. Um, I must try it again. So. so I have to be a bit careful with 
this part it's a very big area that I cannot really just leave white I'm always a bit more quiet when I'm not happy, so <laughs> it's one of the reasons why I am a bit quiet. I think we'll get into that way. I have been that way with some of my work lately too. Yeah. I don't know how to to break through that though just power through and find find a stride again hopefully or what do you do do you have have any ways that you address that specifically doing completely different stuff for example would be one way i think um drawing a landscape in watercolor for me for example would be something completely different <laughs> Um, or drawing a fruit with colored pencils. I think something like that would help, or just continue and force your way through that slump. So, okay. Um, also the areas around the eyes. I, I often, I normally draw, draw them earlier and it sometimes helps. Uh, can you still see me? The browser I am using for being able to see the it looks, it looks like just my browser crept out. Okay, I think you can st still see me and hear me. Um, I have the chat on another screen here, and that one failed. I was afraid that you couldn't see me, but I think you can see me. So what do you do? I changed what I normally do, and it was a lot of fun just to play with the new technique. So when I go back to what I normally do. I have more fun again. Okay. So I'm not sure though what I should do. Perhaps I should do some pouring. Thing is actually, I think pouring is a very great and fun thing, but the entry level, you have to have stuff for it, right? So you need something to spin, or even if you don't do it, you need something to where you can just do a mess in with the colors and also you need the colors you need the flowing agent 
That's actually quite a lot of stuff that you need, right? So, and if you only do it once, it's not that cheap. Is it? <laughs> Thank you, Thanos. I am not so, uh, absolutely not sure. I don't, I, 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 I don't like it at all. It's, it's not looking good. You're a liar. Sometimes the eyebrows help, but these are not very dark, they are really light. So it won't help that much anyway. I think I need to get mm, still a lot more courageous on the left side with the shading, getting mm, even darker in the dark areas. Does not look like him at all. It is boring. I believe that it can get expensive, especially when you start then working with those really cool different colors, which you won't use always, like metallic look colors or or even stuff like UV colors. So I'm just adding a little bit of these areas. Um, the do you call them wrinkles? Some areas work, and in general, no, I cannot get it, get it over me to call anything here that it works. I'm really not happy. and some neon colors here. Yeah, I've seen that. And that's more or less what I'm thinking about. It's when you go into some special colors, you can get really expensive. How, how about those neon colors? Do they also react to UV light? I think you haven't done UV light yet, right? UV colors. You've experimented with with some cells, though, which I th find very interesting. I love. I think the thing I most I like most from 
from pores is when there are cells. So I will try to have cells in every single pore that I that I do. Okay, so at least we have kind of a complete layer of shading first draft, uh, but which unfortunately confirms that I don't have any similarity yet at all. So this is this might be the very first complete and utter failure. It's a pain to resin later. Silicone cuts. I don't know what you mean with that. I think one of the things that I still have to get right is the nose. As I already said a couple of times, the nose is very important for ball betony. Also the eyes are looking very angry, not surprised, confused as they do in the original. But I'm not yet 100% sure what I did wrong with them. I think this, this part and all the things to, to make sure well, that, that is already a little bit less angry. of somebody completely different but I don't know even who yet. Um, no it is not. <laughs> no worries Dana, of course. Still a lot of time though. I'm not sure if I will close early today to get a little bit of a um, break from this mess. But 
still have some some things we can do. For example, the hair. Oh. Don't know if you can hear the cat in the background. She's screaming her lungs out right now. We have a very talkative cat. Very, very talkative cat. And right now we try to get it to a certain level again. Uh, we tend to react to, to when our cat talks to us and she answers and answers and answers. And she just doesn't stop talking anymore these days. So we have now, we are trying not to talk, not to answer anymore to her and see if she perhaps reduces it again a little bit because it's really, it's getting out of hand. <laughs> it's really getting out of hand how much she talks with us. Or just on her own. So we can not even say no and silence, which actually is, doesn't help anyway. Because the cat, she doesn't listen. But I don't know who he reminds me of, but not Paul Bettany. We have this ear. So let me start the slideshow again. What I normally do because I don't, I'm not very happy of what I'm doing right now. See that normally I manage a higher quality than this. <sighs> okay, so. Do some hair. Why not? So yes, of course, Thomas. I have actually also. You can send it directly to me if you don't want to post it somewhere where it's open for the world to see. But I also have a uh, on my Discord. I have a. Um, channel for uh, asking for, for feedback because there are a lot of uh, very capable artists on, on my server already that can also help. If you want to only have my opinion of course you can also just send it via um, Discord. Ooh. 
we're not there yet with this one but i think uh what we have done helps and try to tell me when you send me something how or what kind of feedback you want um or in what area sometimes it's difficult uh, to give you the right feedback do you want to learn do you want to where, where, where to improve next what are the good things what are the bad things everything i don't know <laughs> if, if you have an idea what kind of feedback you want it might help um <laughs> no worries. Just uh, send it to me via DM in Discord then. I'm not sure if I will be able to give you a full assessment today already. Because it's getting late. Uh, here where I live. But I will definitely get back to you. Actually, also it, it helps that I have now made the reference image smaller for myself. Uh, it helps me with not getting too tangled up in details in the original, and it gives me a better overview of where the Errors might lie. Yes, of course. Just send it. Let me have it. So, hair. Let's start with the hair. Because we still have time and there will be time where I have to draw it anyway. So we'll bring in a little bit of structure first with the very light pencil that I have here. Just the direction of the hair. So the hairstyle is in a way that we have some sections that we can separately work on. I have to remove this very sharp line here because we don't really have a line there. you do so Thank you. 
He reminds me a bit, of my version reminds me a bit of that uh, dude from Sabrina. Dark haired, not the one she is with in the beginning, in the first season, but that magician, warlock, whatever she meets at her school. This bad boy. So anyone who has experience with portraits or is just seeing where my mistakes are, you're very welcome to tell me. We are in interactive live session and I am very unhappy with my results today. And I accept help. Mary already rescued the eye proportions in the beginning. One eye would have been considerably larger than the other one. If you have any idea how I can improve this mess, I'm very open. I'm just drawing the hair right now because I don't know where to fix it. I will probably need a break to figure that out. But we're pretty early in the stream and Thank you very much for saying so. Thank you very much for being with me for so long. For standing with me through this mess. He's really not look at all like himself. Also hiding a lot 
behind my head again. Trying to keep it out of the camera. But I'm a bit agitated. So. Get. So He is light brown, not really blonde, but it almost looks like blonde in black and white here. So we will keep it also quite light. that we have a certain three-dimensionality in here. get a little bit more contrast with quite dark streaks. And here a lot of darkness because it is very dark on that side. I think that, that is one of the things I really have to figure out how to get this whole side a lot darker. Darkness by itself won't help with recognizability though. So just by heightening contrast, that will not be the answer. So if I cannot get um, get it recognizable without that contrast, it is highly unlikely that increasing contrast will fix it itself at least. Perhaps there's a happy accident that I correct that one area. Um, that makes it look so ugly.
unhappy. Careful with the dark stone, it might break. So as I said, the increase of contrast won't save this. I have no clue what will. So. But I think I am frustrated enough for one day. I think we will close this. I hope I will get a better result on Friday. So if you have witnessed this mess and for some reason want to come back, <laughs> uh, Friday is the next live stream. We will start a different picture. We will draw something from Buffy again because we have uh, something called Buffy Club where we draw portraits from Buffy characters and from episodes that we have watched through the week. If you're interested in something like that, just come onto my Discord server and yeah, find me there, find us there. We discuss episodes also during the live stream then and we draw hopefully a better picture from one of the persons there. So, um, this was not successful. I will have to find out how to fix it or not then we will be having a time lapse where i can discuss and complain how badly this turned out uh, i would prefer talking about how i saved it but we will see <laughs> life doesn't always give us what is it in English? In English? I have no idea. L life is cruel sometimes. Well, but anyway, you can find out on Monday if it worked out or not. Thank you very much. It's really not good. It's terrible. <laughs> Thank you very much for still sticking with me, watching this video. I am better, I promise. Please take a look at my other pictures. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>